Hi, welcome. I'm OG Duffy and this is my latest Versus video. Now, this is a great one, folks, and it's one you suggested, so I'm really, really, really pleased to revisit this game. It's been I can't remember playing it since my youth, uh, but it's a game I knew very well and I thoroughly enjoyed on both the systems, the ZX Spectrum and the Commodore 64. So, what a game to revisit. So, if any of you got any suggestions for games you'd like me to do versus videos of, please do drop them in the comments because... I've really enjoyed revisiting them, and it's nice for you guys to give me the suggestions and uh, come up with things, okay? This is the second one that you guys have suggested, and I've had great fun revisiting this. So, we're looking at the classic, the awesome, yes, you know it, Rambo First Blood Part 2. Now, this game came out in 1986, and it was done by Ocean Software, okay? But um, the film was in '85. What a film it was. Now, of the whole Rambo franchise, this was the highest grossing of them all. Um, I remember seeing this on video cassette. Uh, I don't think I was old enough to get in the cinema to see it. And I watched it on home video, and I absolutely love this film. It's a real classic. Uh, brilliant stuff. Hey, what's not to love? Stallone, at his absolute finest. Violence, Vietnam... POWs, all that great stuff going on. Uh, but it was a good action film, lots of violence as you can imagine, but thoroughly enjoyable. Well, from my perspective anyway. Now, the video game. Ocean advertised this for months prior to its release. And back then, they never actually gave you dates when video uh, games were due to be released, i.e., you know, on the 14th or whatever. It was never like that. It was just, it just appeared on the shelves. But Ocean had a habit of would really advertise games prior to their release and this was no exception so it got us very excited in the uh, in the computer game press etc and then it arrived and uh, I played it first on the ZX Spectrum and then later I owned it on the C64 also so it's a great comparative video for me to do so before we continue remember as I say any suggestions Put them in the comments. I don't hate on the video if your system doesn't get the win. But do let me know in the comments why you agree or disagree with me. Okay? And equally, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. Helps me greatly. And uh, thanks for watching. Here we go. Let's kick things off with the ZX Spectrum version first. So as I said earlier, this was the very first version of this game that I actually played. Quite a funky tune here. I love the abrupt ending. The eh, mate, that's quite a stunner, isn't it? But as you can see here, I mean, graphically, um, it was ZX Spectrum like. I mean, you had a panel on the right hand side there, which showed you different weapons. Now, you started with hand grenades and a knife, and as you can see, you throw the knife at the enemies. Uh, you say so you dumped in a jungle, you make your way through, and as you do so, you find the various weapons that you pick up. Uh, just found the bow and arrow on that occasion, and uh, they used these sort of ZX Spectrum's graphic capabilities to just. I don't know, mix the jungle up a bit, the machine gun now found, and um, you'd have different areas you could go to and visit. But the idea of the game was you'd make your way through, collect the weapons, and then make your way to the prisoner of war camp, release a prisoner, jump in a chopper, and do all that sort of good stuff. So as you can see, the majority of the jungle scene has been done by a lovely bit of colour clash there against the uh, the river. Um, so you make your way up, and here you go, this is the entrance to the camp, you blow your way in, and then you make your way into the camp to find a prisoner of war. Um, I mean, obviously no music in the game. It was the Spectrum after all. And very few games had music that played with them. Um, and if they did, they generally were the Spectrum-style BP. Um, but obviously, you see here now, you're in the camp. You've got to make your way through. And you find the prisoner of war. There's a cage there. You come back to that later to, to free the rest of the prisoners. But we're going to go and find some guy strung up on a cross. And no, this isn't a religious story. This is Rambo. Um, so as you can see, um, graphically, it was all right. You know, everything was played against this uh, black sort of backdrop with just sort of graphic icons put into position, really. Um, and like I said, no music, just sound effects. Uh, there you go, you get in a helicopter. And now from the helicopter, I've made my way down. Um because you've just sort of rescued the prisoner and then you go down and the general idea is you go and save the rest of the prisoners of war head back to the base and uh, 
you've completed your mission which i'm going to show on both versions so obviously this is the zx spectrum version first um <laughs> I've got fond memories of it because I think I was just such a big fan of the film that when you eventually got to play the video game, it was just, I don't know, I suppose the hype that the film and the advertising and everything else created, you were buzzing about it before you even got the game. Um, so this is the ZX Spectrum version. And again, we get a nice little tune at the end of the mission, which I'm sure you'll all love. And um, we're going to take a look at the C64 next, but that was the ZX Spectrum version. Here we have the Commodore 64 version. Now, some major things you notice straight away. The screen is a lot busier, there's a lot more jungle going on, there's a lot more sort of outbuildings and stuff, and you have to, you can actually get stuck on in some of this jungle, so you have to sort of explode it and clear paths and stuff as well, which made it a bit more interesting. It played a lot more faster, as you can see, it was a busier game generally, and it just rolled and scrolled a lot, lot better. Um, obviously, the big thing, which is the case with an awful lot of these C64 specy um, conversions and uh, comparison videos I do the sound chip obviously as you can hear here the music was pretty good as it always was on most Commodore 64 tunes they usually usually made great use of the SID chip and uh, this was no exception um, obviously lacked game sound effects but hey the music more than made up for that now interestingly if you look at the uh, advert in the bottom left corner there, as you can see, the ZX Spectrum version this was £7.95, but if you were lucky enough to own a Commodore 64, you had to pay a whole pound more for the privilege to have this game. Uh, this was the case with an awful lot of the Commodore and the Spectrum games. They would charge a pound more generally for Commodore games. Not always, but pretty much most of the time. Quite why? I don't know. Maybe they had to put a bit more work into the uh, C64. Um, but anyway, as you can see here, very similar in respect of the gameplay was uh, you've got to do the same thing. So now we've returned to the base stage, released the prisoners as you can see. So the prisoners make their way to the uh, helicopter and there they all go. Look at them all running off. Happy to get out of there of the, uh, the funky looking cage. I don't know what it is about these uh, sort of Vietnam type movies, games. They always seem to sort of lock them up in bamboo cages that always look a bit flimsy to me. But hey ho, that's another story for another day. So anyway, so here we go. You get in the gun gunship, you're now in the helicopter, and all you gotta do is just make your way north, back to your base, drop off the POWs, and then jobs are good. But it's not that simple. You get a couple of gunships come along um, in the movie, if I recall, it was a they were a Russian gunship. Of course, it'd be Russian it, for the time, you know. Uh, and uh, of course, you then have to battle them before you get back to the base. But when you do get back to the base, mission's done, jobs are good, and like I say, it's game over. And then they make you start all over again. Now I can't remember if it's uh, if the um, the difficulty level increases as it went or not. Um, but overall, as I say, both versions, I've got very fond memories, thoroughly enjoyed both, loved the film, loved the games. What more to say, really? It was just overall was really, really good fun, thoroughly enjoyable. And obviously, on the back of such a, a big blockbuster movie, this game sold loads, of course. I mean, we all wanted it, and uh, we all went out and bought it. I mean, and Ocean, this is where Ocean did come into their own. They would quite often do these uh, sort of film movie crossover games. And did not a bad job of them. Nice bit of music to finish here. But anyway, let's get to the verdict. Who wins, Commodore or Specky? Wow. That was awesome fun. Thanks for that. Like I say, I hadn't visited these games in a long, long time. Uh, interesting to revisit them because your memories of them aren't the same as they were back then, etc. All right, okay, so who wins? Who takes it? I have to say both versions are very, very playable. Uh, had great fond memories of the Spectrum version because I was a huge Rambo fan when that game came out. It was the first version I owned. But revisiting today, uh, the negatives on the Spectrum version, obviously the side scroll was not um, proficient. It sort of did that block 
screen move rather than a, a nice flow whilst the c64 version of course flowed in all directions which was a positive um obviously the sid chip come into its own on this c64 sid chip the music superb great effort great job um and the gameplay slightly faster um a lot more colorful graphics so i'm giving it to the commodore 64 this time out okay but commendations to zx spectrum because i've got fond memories of playing that version as well okay all in all a great game and one i thoroughly enjoyed revisiting okay so thank you for that suggestion if you've got any more suggestions and comments drop them in the comments box and thanks for watching please do hit that subscribe button too hit a like do all that good stuff that you do and thanks for watching i've been og duffy catch you soon stay safe if you watch the video and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe for more great videos. Thanks for watching.